Hello. And in the part of Mark that we read today, Jesus teaches his disciples something that's quite tough for them to listen to. In fact, it's so tough that Peter gets upset and Jesus has to take him aside and talk to him. He then goes on to talk to the crowd around him about how to be a Christian, you need to take up your cross and you need to follow Jesus. What does that mean, taking up your own cross? What do you think? Well, while we think about that, I'd like us to make a cross to help remind us. Now, I'm hoping you've got a pipe cleaner and some beads if you've got a craft kit. Now, if you don't have a craft kit, you can use a pipe cleaner or you could use some ribbon or elastic to make this. I've also got my treasure box from last week because we're going to put all the treasure that we make in this series into our treasure box. So, Beth, would you like to read step one? So, step one. Thread a bead onto your pipe cleaner. Fold the pipe cleaner in half and twist. Then thread, thread on four more beads. So here we go. I'm going to take my first bead and then I'm going to fold my pipe cleaner in half. doesn't need to be exact and just twist it. Not lots of times, just once or twice like that. And then I'm going to thread on some more beads. Now I'm going to try and be a bit posh. I'm going to alternate my beads. I've got purple and pink ones. You might have different colour ones in your craft pack. Kind of quite nice, like me, I quite like things nice and neat. So we're going to just push those four beads down to the bottom and that's the start of our cross and time for step two. So step two, pull the, pull the two ends of the pipe cleaner apart, then thread two beads on each end. Thread the pipe cleaner back through, through the bead middle through the bead, through the bead, oh gosh, didn't see that, nearest the middle of on both sides. Pull tight and twist and twist that end bead on each side. Here we go. So I'm going to pull these two ends apart to make the sides of our cross. So I'm going to put a bead on again each side. So one, two on one side and one, two on the other. So that's the easy bit of this step. Now you probably need to watch carefully for the next bit. So I need to take my end and I need to loop it over this first bead and pull it through the second one ah. and pull tight. Not super tight, but quite tight. Okay, and then I'm gonna just twist that to keep it in place. And you'll have a bead on the side like that. I'm gonna do the same with this one. So, I'm going to pull this bead apart a bit and then thread the pipe cleaner through the bead, bead that's nearest the middle again and pull it quite tight but not super tight and then take that bead, twist it that way round and twist that pipe cleaner to keep it in place. Okay, so that is step oh, fancy. two finished. It's looking more like a cross now. And step three, Beth. Thread two more. Thread two more beads onto the top of the cross. Push push the end back into the beads and twist twist the loop at the top. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult because you've got to thread the beads, um, thread the pipe cleaner, two bits of pipe cleaner back through both beads. So oh, you right. start off with putting. So you've now got a cross shape. And now we're going to take the ends, both ends, and we're going to push them through both beads. So this is a little bit fiddly because you've got four bits of pipe cleaner going through each bead. But oh. the further you push it down, the more secure it is. You just need to be careful because those ends are a little bit sharp. So you're um, pushing the two bits of pipe cleaner the top through all the beads? Uh, not through all of them, just through the top two oh. or three. Okay. And then... If you twist, if you keep twisting, it will eventually twist and that will help keep it in place and you'll have a little loop at the top. So you could thread this onto a necklace or a key ring, but I am going to put my beaded cross in my treasure box 
So help me think about the treasure that we're learning about when we think about the character of Jesus in our series on the Hebrews.